one doesn't have any chromatic uh, move in there, no chromaticism, but I wanted to include it because it goes along with the, the previous one, which was... Okay, and the way that they go together is simply this. Now, I know that second part of it should be in the other section, but I missed it. So I'm just, just to be thorough, I'm putting it in here because it is a cool little idea. I like this. Now I want to include 
a little bit. That ends on the minor third, which is what this set. We're ending on other notes other than the, the, the root. But here we go. I want to just include this little part where it does end on the root, where it goes like this. Okay, let me play the whole thing and I'll sing it now. And you know, I, I'm noticing on a lot of these where you make a big jump, that's that's kind of hard. So when you start getting that, that's good because it's a sign that you're getting the interval, that feeling. Like when I'm on the minor third, I got to jump all the way to that that flat seven there. And I got to remember, how does that feel? Because it's, it's harder to jump into something, make a leap like that. When a note, uh, like it, for instance, we're doing chromatics. So... That's a little easier to find because you really just got to, in a case like that, it's a half step. So you just got to almost like detune, right? You got to flatten that note you're on, the, the, the fifth. So, and you could find the, the, the flat five. So, It's easier to find this. And the way I'm, to be honest, the way I'm finding it, I got to hear it going to the root. Very weird, but I think because most of our examples, when you, when you get, I'm, I'm hearing so right after it I'm uh, it's pulling me to the root and that's helping me get that note I th I think that's kind of what's happening I, I and I know we do many like in this example so we go down many times to the fifth too but this is very common so when I'm down here on May I'm hearing this phrase Right, and I I don't know. It's just I'm trying to give you an honest interpretation of what what I'm hearing and feeling and how I'm getting it. You know, I think the more you do these drills, you'll you'll understand what I'm saying. It's almost like we kind of start cheating with all these ideas we've done. We start to I don't know somehow get an instinct for it. Like it, it, it I don't know how to really put it. But I am starting to feel these things. And I, again, folks, I'm not even drilling these yet. I'm creating them. I can't wait. All right, I'm blabbing on. But it's it's exciting, folks. It's exciting. This is going to be great. Uh, I think it's going to turn us into, into, you know, improvisers on a level not seen often. It, it, okay, okay, let's go. Let's go. I don't want to keep going into it. All right, let's 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 continue.
on the roof, but I had to include it because it's actually the first part of the next lick coming up. I just figured I'd include it here. All right, let's go to the next one. So the two of those together sound like this. The last two sound like this when you put them together. Okay, so again. So that's why I included the last one, even though it ends on a root. Right? All right, so there you go. That wraps up uh, this set. I'll tell you, it's a lot of work, a lot of work, but I think it's going to pay off. Matter of fact, I was looking at the date. When I started posting these, I believe it was back in May. So I took really the, like the whole summer, right? Going into the summer up until now, 
the summer's almost over. We're in, we're in the end of September. The fall's right around the corner. I'm looking at the progress I'm making. I think I'm going to finish this probably by the end of the year. That's what it's looking like to me. Uh, with the time scheduling I have, and I know you guys, the handful of you that are still paying attention, I apologize. It's just really hard. I'm, I'm one of these guys at work, and, you know, I got a nine to five. But once I get this organized, I think it's going to be groundbreaking. It's really going to advance our our abilities. And really, the, I know the time it's taken me to lay these out, I'm going to make up for it. I got to finish them. I'm so, so determined to finish these because I don't like leaving a task up in the air. You know, when I start something, I want to do it the best I can. I want to finish it. And I know when I finish these, I still can tell by laying them out here, folks, there's still some overlaps. I could probably condense this to like half of what it is, which I'll do. I mean, it doesn't really matter right now because we're going to be drilling these, and it's just like repetitiveness. You get it, and you get it. Uh, you know, you memorize it in a sense. It becomes part of you. So the more you do it over repetition, it doesn't matter if some of these licks or ideas keep repeating here and there. But I will try to condense it. I know this repetitive licks. I'm going to try to condense it to as little as I can so it's not a daunting task when you see it, you know. Uh, like to see like 300 different ideas is kind of intimidating, 400, whatever it is, opposed to just being able to do, let's say, like, you know, 50 or, or you know, 60, something, something that seems reasonable to grasp. So I think I can do it, and this is where I'm going with it. I'm going to really perfect it, keep tweaking it, and I'll get it there. So even if I finish these by the end of the year, I'm looking to continue now. I'm going to drill myself, and I'm going to keep noticing the ones that are repetitive, weed them out, and then eventually get to where I got, like, the, the condensed version, every little morsel of information that we need to construct our, our style with the Jimmy Dawkins ideas. And I think it's gonna be a good thing. All right, so, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm promising you in the world, I think, but I really feel like I can deliver this. I've had trouble trying to improvise throughout my you know, life and I have seen others, it just comes naturally for them. I wanna to try to give something to the world where the average schmo like you and I, we can, do drills, nothing complicated. I think a lot of things you see on YouTube are overcomplicating things. They're trying all these schemes, all this theory. It's not needed. You just get boggled down in your mind with too much nonsense. This is I'm, I'm cutting the fat, and this is going to be condensed to, like, perfection. And then we're going to drill it. And I, I really feel within, like, three months' time, you work with these drills, these these ear training exercises and singing and then you pick up your guitar and we start going over the same moves the same lines the same licks ideas that we're singing forget it now your your heart's going to be leading everything you play opposed to your fingers leading what you do all right so you get that that's just a quick summary i know i'm yapping again but i'm staying on point i'm trying to Focus in on this. All right, folks, hang with me. Stay tuned for the next set. I'll get it done as soon as I can. All right, we're getting there, folks. We're getting there.